Welcome, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to sort of a side episode to the what was on sale at the grocery store. Um, in a previous episode, I talked about this ham that I bought. Picked it up at the grocery store, one and a half kilos, um, which is about three pounds, and it was five bucks. So I used it um, in an earlier episode to make a ham and potato soup and uh, had some left over. Used that at, uh, at breakfast, fried up some slices with some egg. And tonight I'm just going to heat what's left and I'm gonna make a side dish to go with it, a braised cabbage. Now, the cabbage in of itself is, is sort of interesting because it's cheap, cabbage is cheap, and I'll go to the grocery store and I'll buy a cabbage and essentially what'll happen is I'll make cabbage salad the first night and then it'll sit in the fridge for a week and then it'll end up on taco night. Um, Shred it up really fine and tacos, I like it like that. And then I'm left with, you know, a third to a quarter of a cabbage in the fridge that I don't know what to do with. And it usually ends up braised the way I'm gonna do it today. So in this pan, I've heated up some oil and I've got some salt and pepper on these wedges. And so we're just gonna fry them a little bit, get a little bit of color on each side. And I've had people ask about this oil. This is olive oil. Um, a friend of Julie's family in Petrina, Greece, owns the, the, the vineyard, the farm? What do you call olive grove? Owns the olive grove that grows these olives, um, and then they send them to a co-op to be crushed and pressed, and that's that oil. It's amazing, absolutely amazing oil. Okay, we should have a little bit of browning on the one side. There we go, just a little bit. So I'm gonna flip these over and brown the other side. Okay, these have got color on both sides, so I'm gonna pull them out. Just set them aside for a moment. Uh, take a look at your pan. If it needs a little bit more oil, mine does, put it in. If it doesn't, don't. So, a little bit more oil. I'm gonna manage the heat, turn it down just a touch. Don't want it to burn. And I've got some cumin. So I'm gonna put the cumin in and toast that. Seconds, it takes seconds. And then I'm gonna put in some tomato paste because I really like tomato paste. Oh, smell of cumin and tomato paste, heavenly. I'm also gonna to toss in some hot pepper flakes. And so, let's mix that about. I wanna cook the tomato just to add some caramelization to it. And I'm using cumin and hot pepper flakes. You could use any herb or spice that you like. What is your flavor profile? Put it in here. Um, don't be beholden to what I like. If you don't like cumin, don't use it. Um, find something else that you enjoy. And the same with the next, I'm gonna put in some, this is vegetable stock because I have vegetable stock. Um, it's about a cup and a half. I'm gonna put the full two cups in. You could use chicken stock, you could use beef stock, you could use pork stock, you could match whatever stock or flavor profile you have to, this, to the main dish. If you're serving this with a roast or chicken or something like that, go ahead and use that type of stock. Sort of meld all of your flavors together. Um, feel free in the kitchen to do it your own way. So, I'm gonna bring this back to a bit of a simmer not hypercritical to do that. Um, I'm gonna put in some dry mustard. Again, I like dry mustard. Um, are you on Team Keens or Team Coleman? Uh, apparently, last time I went to the grocery store, I felt like I was on Team Keen. So, about that much. And we'll just give that a quick stir. Mix it in a little bit. And then the cabbage goes back into the braising liquid. Put the lid on. Now, of course, you could leave this on your stove top and just gently simmer it. Um, my oven is on, it's hot, it's ready to go. I'm gonna be putting the ham in there anyway. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven. 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna let it go for three or four hours. 
at that point, the, uh, the cabbage will be falling apart. Now, I've got lots of liquid in mine, and I also know that this has a tight fitting lid, so I'm not gonna lose too much moisture, but if you're unsure, then uh, check it. I mean, check it, check it, check it, check it, and make sure that it hasn't run out of liquid. I'm just gonna leave that in the oven, and we'll see you in a little while. Okay. Oh, soft. That smells like a cabbage roll, but it doesn't look like a cabbage roll. I mean, it's, it's like a deconstructed cabbage roll. It's a deconstructed because it's the, it's got the tomato in that, but it's it's um, yeah, it's just braised cabbage. Okay. I guess we gotta like cabbage though. Is it hot? Mm-hmm. Okay. But a thumbs up. That's so good. I love that. Oh, tomato, cabbage. tomato, and cabbage go together really well. Mm -hmm. And then you add in, oh. What else is in there then? You said you added in. Cumin and hot pepper flakes, and it's braised in, oh. um, there's a little bit of tomato paste and and uh, some stock, some vegetable stock. So all those things really uh, actually add flavor to the cabbage. It takes away from, for those of you who have cabbage that it's like, oh, I don't like cabbage, it's all bitter. But this is actually is... pretty, this is pretty sweet and, and yes. soft, yeah. The cabbage is just a vehicle to deliver all of the other flavors. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And it's going to go really well with the ham that's cooking inside the house. So, Ooh. Oh, cool. It's um, really good. Yeah. Isn't it? Not actually. I really like that. Yeah. Okay. So if you don't like cumin, play with it a little bit. Add something else. I mean, you make this into something that you want to eat. But cabbage is relatively inexpensive. Um, uh, always available. Keeps well. Keeps well. And uh, that is an amazing dish. So thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.